Hey guys, Bobby here. And another live video today for you guys. So, here's the deal. Let's look at my orders real quick. Get 35 kills with a pistol. Okay. Contract. Get 30 kills while in the resistance division. Get 25 kills with a pistol. Let's come over to my divisions. He's a 9mm sap. Because I want to rank this one up. And got shifty. Got some satchel charges. You know, I'm tempted if I can't get success with this, I'm going to use the machine pistol. But for right now, I'm going to use the, the 9mm just because I want to I want to get that ranked up. Uh, but I feel like this could be a fun little video to do. Uh, I got 30 minutes to get 35 kills, basically. Actually, the 35 kills is that. So I got to get 25 kills, 30 really, if we're going to be honest, uh, with the pistol. And uh, so let's do it. Uh, I like to do these in team deathmatch just because I feel like uh, they take the least amount of time off the clock while also giving you... A a decent amount of potential to get the kills. Uh, I'm hoping for a flak. Flak tower. Gibraltar is not the worst. Uh, you kind of have to watch where you go. Um, stick in the middle is kind of alright. The sides are kind of eh. Especially the left side. Um, not, the, not the bridge, but the uh, where the flak cannons are. Those are kind of iffy. That's a, you kind of have to maneuver well. I guess we'll see how this goes. If this first game, if I if I don't get that many at all, I'm gonna switch to the machine pistol. Um, what I'm really building towards is I want to get enough. Uh, oh, okay, so this game's almost over. Uh, sure, that's fine. Um, Stay wary. Okay, that's annoying. Recon the air ball. Enemy spotted. What I'm really building towards. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to actually get a kill. Uh, what I'm trying to build towards is I'm trying to build up enough supply drops to do like a, like a video for you guys just to see what I get. Maybe like get 10 or 15 built up. Uh, I guess depends on really what I can scrounge up. If I get like 10 or 15, you know, packs, su supply pack drops. Wow. See, this is the thing about doing this video live is uh, if, I, if I mess up or fuck up talking, it just sounds stupid. Okay, so I went 1-0. Oh. So, uh, you know, 100 KD. That's not how that works at all. I got a 1 KD because I went 1-0. But, okay, sure. See, I, I don't get the 4X scope. Is it the 4X or the X4? I guess it doesn't matter. But I'm not a big fan of that scope. How much time does it take off? That sucks. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this video live, so if I mess up talking, I just sound stupid. Uh, I'm getting close to second prestige, so that's good. Um, Duncan the Awesome. I don't know if he's talking about Tim Duncan. Yo, I guess with this live video, I guess what I can do is talk about some of the things I just saw. Um, I'm looking at my notifications, so it looks like the uh, the Cavs have talked to the Hornets vaguely about a deal for Kemba involving Isaiah Thomas in the Nets' first round pick. I mean, if the Cavs can pull that off, that's a steal. Like realistically, like because Isaiah Thomas is just I don't I don't know, man. If it, I don't know if it's just this year or because he's come back from injury. Because he's not a Celtic anymore. But he's been trash. He's been straight up awful. And like. The Cavs have been awful. And here's what I'll say in terms of my NBA fandom. I'm a big LeBron fan. I'm, I'm a really big fan of LeBron James. I really enjoy watching him play. And he's my favorite player. Um, but I'm just disappointed. So far in these Cavs. Like just. Ugh. Like I'm glad Love for a while was doing super great. And I miss Kyrie. Kyrie. Here, here's what I'll say. Me and my brother Corey fought for a while. By fought, I mean, you know, had our debates back and forth about whether Kyrie was actually good. And now, you know, he, he's a big North Carolina fan, so he's against Duke. So that's why he didn't really care for uh, Kyrie. But personally, I, I've always liked Kyrie. I've always felt like he was a, like he was a great player. And that, uh, is this counting down? It's not, okay. I always felt like he's a great player and that he could, you know, realistically one day be an MVP candidate on his own team and everyone always scoffed at me like especially my brother always laughed at me and said that I wasn't realistic but personally I always felt like Harry had that in him and I feel like he's shown it this year with uh crap I, he's shown that this year with Boston like he's really shown uh what he's made of and I feel like that you know I feel kind of vindicated finally <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna, there's going to be a lot of pauses because I'm trying to focus on getting these kills as well. But I really feel like I kind of vindicated that Kyrie's playing so well because 
he really played such a huge part in that championship run. Oh, shit. That's a big fucking uh, throw. Jesus, I got fucking shot. Um, he played a huge part in winning that, winning the 2016 title. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate shotguns, dude. Like, okay, here's all I'll say. Like, I don't mind playing with them, but, like, I fucking hate... Oh, shit. Uh, he put, he did such a great part. He hit the, he hit the shot against, you know, over, over Curry. Like, he put in his, his legacy on the Cavs. And, you know, he's forever going to be, you know, known for that. You know, I, I really do hope that he manages to put up a legacy in, in Boston, you know. Whether that's winning them a title or, you know, carrying them to the finals this year over the Cavs or, you know, whatever it may be. Jesus Christ, I am. Um, whatever that may be, like, I'm super excited to see Kyrie on his own team and lead them, and he's doing a great job at being a leader and, you know, actually passing and assisting, which he didn't really do with the Cavs, but really that could just be the system, that could be the coaching, <laughs> that could be the fact they play with LeBron, who's a ball dominant player, you know, whatever it may be. I really feel like Kyrie is, you know, an MVP caliber player, like, I really feel like he's that good, and I'm glad that it, you know, it's seemingly going that way for him. Okay, come on. That should have been my kill. That was kind of sad on my part that I didn't get that. Um, but yeah, seeing Kyrie doing well is amazing. Um, I don't know, man. The Cavs have just been looking like trash. And like, trust me, I'm not, especially me, but like just in general, I'm not one to bet against LeBron. Like if I had to bet money, if I had to put five bucks, if I had to put a hundred bucks down on it, I'm not betting against LeBron. In a playoff series. Like, in the East. Now, against the Warriors, that's another question. But, outside of the finals, I'm not going to bet against LeBron James. Like, I'm smarter than that. Like, LeBron's good enough that he can carry a team to the finals. Like, we all saw what he did in 2007 against the Spurs. Getting that team, probably the worst finals team of all time. To, to the finals against that Spurs team. Like, he wasn't going to win. He was 22. It's his fourth season in the league. Like, yeah, did he underperform? I mean, sure. He didn't do that well. But what do you get, what'd you expect him to do? He's 22. It's his fourth season in the league against the fucking Hall of Fame Spurs with Tony Parker, Ginobili, Tim Duncan. Uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? Like, I, I don't know what you expected. But here, here's a... Actually, here's another debate for you guys. Argument I got into few months back I was talking about uh worst finals team of all time i say that Cavs team the person i was talking to said uh the 2001 sixers see to me that team is much better and you know i get it because they're the best team in the east that's why they have like the defensive player of the year the sixth man of the year whatever like i get that that's the majority of the reason why that those players on that team got the awards just because they were the best team in the conference that year like i get that but also just in terms of the names on that team you got Aaron. You got Aaron Mickey. You got uh, fucking. Is it Tony Snow? I don't know if it was Tony Snow. Jesus, I'm kind of going off a little bit actually. I'm 16 and nine with a pistol. Jesus, uh, it's not Tony Snow, right? It's uh, Eric Snow. But like, you know, besides AI, who do you, who does that team really have? You got Eric Snow. You got Aaron McKee. Uh, okay, I got a glide bomb. I didn't mean to actually call it in yet. Um, sure, sure, sure. Let's. Okay. I wasn't going to get that. Um, Dikembe Mutombo. And uh, there's a couple of the players I know from the 2K team. But, like, realistically, like, they didn't they didn't have that, that great of players. But they were better than the Cavs team. Who also had Eric Snow. But fucking, uh, they had Anderson Varej out. Ilgauskas. Zondras Ilgauskas? Is that how you fucking say his name? Ilgauskas is good. I'll give you that. He's a good player and doesn't get the credit that he really deserves. But, you know, he's that doesn't make up for the fact that you got Dikembe Mutombo, Hall of Fame legend. Sure, he was you know, very well near the end of his career at that point. But he still got the name. And he still got, you know, production. He's Defensive Player of the Year that year as well. And, you know, you got to put up some stats. you got to put up performance to get that. You're not going to just get it off name recognition. Okay. Um, am I really leading this team to a victory with the pistol? That's insane. Um, can I just finish... Can I finish this? Oh, I still gotta get to 35 kills with the pistol, don't I? 
Um, I was gonna say, can I finish? Maybe I can finish at least one. Okay, I wasn't gonna get that. But yeah, what do you guys think? Tell me down below. Like, do you think that 2007 Cavs, 2007 Cavs, or the 2001 Sixers are a worse team in the finals? Personally, I feel like the Cavs team uh, was worse. But uh, I'm open to hearing what you guys think. I mean, I know people who feel the feel that the Sixers were a worse team. I just don't understand that. But you know, that's just me. 25 and 14, uh, first actual game that I got to play with this pistol. Um, you know, doing pretty well. Um, I completed that first challenge, and then um, I think, yeah, I don't think I got any grenade kills or knife kills. So completed that first challenge. Just gotta get a uh, nine more kills because I got the one the first game. So nine more kills of the pistol, and uh, so this video won't go too much longer. But yeah, so tell me, what you, tell me what you guys think about that question down below. Uh, tell me who you guys think is gonna win the finals. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna bet against the Warriors because they're probably gonna win. But I'm, I'm gonna say I think it's gonna be Warriors and Cavs again. I say. I was waiting to see if I got it. Uh, I'm gonna say Warriors in six. This is, you know. Wagering whether, you know, the Cavs make any moves. The fact that Love can come back healthy. You know, who knows? Maybe. I really hope so. Uh, just to give them a chance, you know. Um, nice, nice. Let's get some get some attachments on this bad boy. What kind of pistol grips do I have? Um, furball. <laughs> I like that one. We're doing that one. Um, headshots, okay. Let's actually take a look at this real quick. Ooh. It's pretty nice. These resistance pistol grips are actually pretty nice. Um, so what do we have? So I, I got that first one. Um, Hutch just made a tweet. I need four more kills in the resistance division. I also need nine more kills with the pistol. Okay, so you guys are going to see the tail end of this game. Or you're going to see this game. I'm going to hopefully finish up this pistol contract. I'll finish out the game for you guys. But then uh, that should make the video wrapped. Um, besides that, um, see, I'm looking... I, I think Kimbo would be great because Isaiah Thomas is just not not doing it for him. And I always felt like that was – like I was hopeful just because I wanted the Cavs because I want LeBron to win more titles. I'd like to see him, you know, get to a point where he can make an argument against Jordan. Move out. Like I'd like to see that. Do I think it's going to happen? Realistically, probably not. Does this dude just drop his knife? He just puts it down. Um, I'd like to see it, but I don't know if it's going to happen at this point. In terms of the finals, I really like the Rockets, and I personally feel like LeBron's going to go to the Rockets next year. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Where do you think LeBron's going? Do you think he's leaving the Cavs, staying? Uh, do you think you're, are you like my mom, think he's going to the Lakers just because he owns a house in L.A., even though he's had a house in L.A. is like half his career? You know, but, you know, that's none of my business. But I think I have Pennywise. I think I have Pennywise the Clown as his uh, emblem. But personally, I feel like LeBron's going to the Rockets. That's where I would go. Because I feel like that team would just be nasty. Like, if they can keep Capella and Gordon. Like, let's say they are able to keep Capella and Gordon. Or, like, at least sign some guys who can, like, match that production. That, like, the scoring and the shooting. Like, that would be so deadly. Like, that would be a gigantically amazing big three. I'm just saying words at this point. Sorry. Um, that would be a crazy big three. Like, I'd love to see if they could keep. Because, I mean, honestly. Like, I want them to keep, be able to keep to those guys and like I always wanted them to the Rockets to keep Lou Williams as you see Lou Williams is like killing it this year but I wanted them to keep him but you know they made their choice and honestly it worked out pretty well it seems like it because they're uh, they're by far the second best team in the league and they were just uh watching them dominate the Cavs it was like it was sad but it was just like it's beautiful basketball like I can't like hate on him like I don't know what to expect at that point oh my god oh shit Fucking. Um, but yeah, I think LeBron's going to the Rockets. I think that would be the smart choice. Um, of course, there's that story about him, you know, considering the Warriors. I mean, uh, sure. I mean, he'll, he'll give, he might give them. He w he would give them, you know, a meeting because he respects them as a championship organization. I mean, sure. Is he ever going to go there? No. LeBron, you know, he's not a snake. <laughs> Kevin Durant. I'm just kidding. But uh, you know. I, lo I love the Reddit memes. I love the memes about Kevin Durant being a snake and all that stuff. Ooh, I don't know how I got that kill. Um, but I don't think LeBron would do that. He knows what it would do to his legacy, what it would make him look like. So, doubt that. Besides that, 
what I can say. Um, ooh, what do you guys think about Dr. Disrespect coming back to Twitch? Uh, basically shutting down a... Uh, making Twitch crash. That was crazy. Uh, I, caught, I caught the tail end of it. But he was at like 356,000 consecutive like concurrent viewers um, by the time I hopped on there because it was crazy because like everyone was going crazy at like 150,000 uh, one of the dudes on my snapchat I saw a story and he was like saying it was crazy it was at like 150,000 and I'm like I get in there's 356,000 I'm like holy shit dude like twitch crashed because of this dude and he's coming back it's crazy um, I was watching for a little bit he's playing PUBG it's pretty fun you know, I'd love to do Twitch. I just don't have the internet right now. Although I am, because I just got a second job, and uh, my plan is to move out. You know, holy shit. My plan is to move out in the future. Holy shit, I just got a fucking triple kill with the fucking pistol. Oh, that would have been... That would have been sick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch to the Orso after this, but... Uh, that would have been sick. Do I, have, do I have both of them now? I do, okay. Um... I'm going 11 9. Uh, I actually haven't. This is the first time I've used the STG uh, in a while, actually. Because what I was doing for a little bit with this game is uh, I would just. I would ma I'd prestige my gun. I, I wanted to get all the guns to, to like max prestige first before I started going back for challenges and camos. Um, which I might still do. I might not. I'm not sure what my plan is yet. Oh, shit. If you guys watch my last uh, fucking live video, <laughs> saying so many F bombs are flying out through here. If you watched my last video, it was uh, the Orso when I unlocked it. And uh, this is... I, I'm playing this game like a game or two after. Um, so... I unlocked the... Uh, I don't know what the I don't know what the site is. It's the, the lens site and the uh, quick draw, I think it is. I unlocked those two for this gun, so I'm using those right now. Um, so that's nice. Uh, I'm really looking forward to get the, the Volk Sturmgewehr. I really want to use that gun. Uh, I picked it up a couple times, and it's been pretty solid. It seems like it's probably the best new gun that we've gotten in the game. I mean, the Sten probably has a case, but, you know. It, it's probably the Sturmgewehr. The Volk Sturmgewehr. Going 14 and 12. Looks like we're probably going to win this game. So that's con- Fuck you. Ah, that's, pro that's convenient. That's nice. Um, I guess what I can do is I can talk about some of the series ideas I've had. Um, I have a couple ideas. Like, I want to do, like, like a, like, a, like a normal, like, you know, whether it be live commentaries or whether it be, like, commentaries recorded. Just, like, videos of, it's just, you know, ga full games of me playing the game live or not. Where it's just kind of my road to Master Prestige. Not that I, like, realistically think I'm going to get to Master Prestige anytime. Like, if I'm ever even going to get there anytime soon. But, like, just kind of, like, as, like, a, you know, status update if you will, like a kind of like state of the union, kind of state of the state of the COD game kind of series, or like, hey, so I do this once or twice a week and it's just where I'm at in the game or something like that. Like our road to Master Prestige. That'd be kind of cool, I think. Um, then maybe like a road to Commander for a, like a certain prestige. Uh, I plan on doing supply drop openings. It's kind of what I'm building towards. Look at me. This is my triple kill. This is my triple kill, I think. So I got that one. I reload. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I can't wait till I get the grip on this. Once I get the grip, I feel like it's going to be deadly. Uh, but there's Road to Diamond for certain guns. I'm working on guns, getting them to Diamond Camo. Uh, a Call of Insanity, which I'll get into the meaning of that name later on. But uh, where I just use like, the craziest ass weapons, maybe live. And then Road to Ranked Glory is an idea I had. Where I go through ranked play and try to do really well. Uh, those are some ideas. Let me know what you guys think down below. Other series ideas, other kind of videos you want to see. If you guys like this video, if you like these live videos, let me know. Um, subscribe for more, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.